Hello everybody. Good morning and good afternoon and good evening. May the good Lord bless you and guide you and protect you. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Today, I want to talk to you about staying committed. Our topic is stay committed. We all have opportunities to give up on what we are believing for. Walk away from uncomfortable situation. Slack off and not be our best. But if you are going to reach your highest potential in life, you have to stay committed. You have to have a made up mind that you are in it for the long haul. It may be difficult. You have a good reason to walk away. Don't take the easy way out. Stay committed to your marriage. Stay committed to raising those, raising those children. Stay committed to your friends. They may make mistakes. Give them some grace. Don't be a fair without friend. Be committed in the good times and in the tough times. Stay committed to your dreams. Don't give up on the promises God put in your heart. It may be taking longer than you thought, but God is still on the throne. He is faithful. He is a faithful God. He's already set the time to bring it to pass. Stay committed to your, whatever you are doing in your house, in your husband's home, in your own house. Stay committed to your job. Be a loyal person, somebody they can count on day in and day out. You are not always going to feel like it. There will be, go, there will be good days and tough days. Times when exciting times when you feel like giving up. That's when you have to dig your heels in and say, I'm going to do the right thing. When it's hard, I'm committed to this marriage. I'm going to love you even though you don't deserve it. I'm committed to do this job. I'm going to be my best even though my supervisor isn't treating me right. I'm committed to my family, to my dreams. Not going to give up because I don't see anything happening. I'm going to keep believing, expecting, thanking God. I know it's on the way. God reveals constant, faithful, committed people. But too many people are wisely washed. They will love you as long as you perform perfectly. If not, they are out of there. They will be their best if you keep them encouraged. Keep them prop up. They will pursue a dream as long as they are getting good breaks. Their commitment is based on things going their way. But when it's difficult, when it's taking longer than they thought, they get discouraged and start to slack off. Don't be like that. Be a good person all the time. Treat people right. Show appreciation. In what you know you are doing. You will meet so many type of people in your life. If you see your company as your provider. Your boss as your source. Then in a sense. You are making them your God. You are letting them control your destiny. They determine how high you are going to go. And if for some reason. They don't like you. They, they are not for you. Too bad. You are limited. No. No. Stop looking to people and start looking to God. He not only controls your destiny, He controls the whole universe. He determines how high you are going to go. No person, no supervisor, no company can stand against God. He knows what's, what is going on in your life, what is happening. He sees what is unfair and when you stay committed to your job, when you keep being your best day in and, in and out, despite who doesn't like you, God will make it up to you. God is your source. He has the final say in your life. Then what will you say about difficult time? What will you say when things are not going your way? If it was easy, everyone would do it. God chose you because he knew you can handle it. He have the courage, the strength, the talent, the anointing. You are not weak. You are not lacking. You are full of 
the power of God. God knows whom you are because before he put you in that position you are now. I have it I have had it said on the road to your destiny. Halfway through every person will be tempted to give up. Some turn around and go back. The others stay committed and keep moving forward. What's in stressing is both people travel the same distance. One goes halfway back to where they started. The other goes halfway ahead and reach their goal. Committed people at last the difficulty. Committed people stick with the relationship even though they have a right to walk away. Committed people go the extra mile and do more than they have to. Is there an extra mile in your life? Is there an area you have been tempted to give up in or just lack of? Not be your best. God is saying, stay committed. Stay faithful. Stay loyal. Committed people reach the fullest of their destinies. The dreams God's placed in your heart, the promises you are standing on, may be taking longer than you thought. You don't see any sign of it happening. That's a test. Are you going to get discouraged and give up on what you are believing for? Stay committed. Keep doing the right thing. God is in control. He sees your faithfulness. Like with my father, every time in his life, he will call us and say, stay committed in whatever you are doing in your life. Second Kings chapter 2, the prophet Elijah was about to be taken up to heaven in a whirlwind. He had an assistant named Elisha. Elisha was like a son to him. Elisha took care of Elijah. He went with him everywhere and made sure that he had what he wanted. And in verse 2, Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here. I'm going to the city of Bethel. Now Elisha knew the prophet was going to be taken away. He knew he was coming to an end. Hallelujah. He couldn't have thought, All right, I'm going to stay after all. His life is almost over. Instead, Elisha said to him, as surely as the Lord lives, I will never leave you. They went together to Bethel. In Bethel, Elijah said, Stay here. I'm going to the city of Jericho. Elijah said it again. As sure as the Lord lives, I will not leave you. They arrived in Jericho. Elijah told them the third time, Stay here. I'm going to Jordan River. Elisha said the same thing. I will not leave you. Three times. Elijah tried to get rid of him. Three times he said, in fact, you have done enough. You have served me well all these days. You have been faithful, loyal. Take some time off. Go relax. Elisha wouldn't hear of it. His attitude was, I am committed to you, sir. I'm going to stick with you through thick and thin. I was with you in the good times when you were performing miracles i'm going to be with you in the tough times as you come to an end nobody would have faulted elisha if he had walked away his boss told him to he had a good reason but he wouldn't slack off he wouldn't take the easy way out he was committed he was loyal he was someone you could count on at the cross the jordan river Elijah said to him, What do you want me to do for you before I leave? Elisha said, I want a double portion of your anointing. He said, You have asked a hard thing. But if you see me when I'm taken away, you will have it. In a little while, as they were walking along, a whirlwind took Elijah up into the heavens. His mantle fell on Elisha. Elisha picked up Elijah's rod struck the Jordan River, and it parted. Elisha ended up performing twice as many miracles as Elijah because he was committed. Here is my point. He would never send the double portion if he had not stayed committed. If he had left the first time Elijah told him to go, or the second time, or the third, he would not have seen the fullness of his destiny. 
there will be plenty of times when you are tempted to walk away walk away from a dream it's been too long it's going to it's not going to happen walk away from a marriage walk away from a church walk away from your job they don't appreciate you they never tell you thank you you could slack off take the easy way out but what you can't see is there is a double portion up in front of you stay committed when it's hard do the right thing when the wrong thing is happening keep loving that man that woman even though they don't deserve it when you stay loyal consistent faithful a double portion is coming double favor double honor double resources god will pay you back for staying committed may the almighty god bless you in jesus name amen